Hey, good morning guys. I'll tell you what, I'm pretty excited. Finally going to do a video on my Beretta 1301 12 gauge semi-automatic shotgun. And it does come in a very nice hard case. But let me pop this open. Wow, look at this beauty, huh? This is the 1301 Tactical. And this has the uh, marine finish on it. I tell you what, I do like this color. So we're going to go over this real quick. We'll go over the uh, red dot I put on it. And then we're going to set up some targets and have a lot of fun. But look at this, huh? So while I'm talking about it, let me show you some photographs. 1301 Tactical 12 gauge. Made in Italy. And of course, Beretta. Just really a, a sweet looking shotgun. And this does have a three inch chamber, so I can shoot three inch shells out of this. Now you can get these in four different colors. The uh, marine finish here. You can also get black. You can get OD green. And you can get flat dark earth. Barrel length on this one is 18 and a half inches. And it does take screw in chokes, by the way. Comes with one choke already installed and it's a it's cylinder bore so there's no choke to it so uh, perfectly safe to shoot slugs out of this which I'm going to do today does come with a choke wrench nice big fat charging handle nice big fat safety on it big bolt release right here I mean very easy to hit that and uh, you know, I have put some rounds through this. Absolutely love shooting it. Now, unfortunately, my son's not out here today because he had to work. So it's just going to be me. But the good news is he did shoot this the other day. And I will show you some of that video. And I'll tell you what, he really enjoyed shooting it. All right, let's talk about the sights. You know, this came with a decent rear sight, fully adjustable. And it also had a... Uh, short picatinny rail on it so you could put a, a red dot on this. The problem is using that picatinny rail kind of sets the, the scope up a little too high. So I, I took off the rear sight and the picatinny rail and I put on this mount made by Aridus Industries and this one does have a modified peep sight on it. Very well made scope mount. Now, the red dot is actually a green dot, so if I call it a red dot throughout this video, just, just know that it is, in fact, a green dot. And I'll see if I can get some video where you guys can see what that looks like. But this is made by Holosun. It's the model HE508T. And what I like about it, one, it has a little solar panel on top. So this will run off the battery or the solar panel. And it uses one CR1632 battery, which is side mounted, which means you don't have to take the side off to change the battery. Now, check this out. The body is made out of aluminum. <sighs> it's not aluminum, I'm sorry, it's titanium. So that's pretty cool, titanium body. Now what I like about this green dot there's three settings on it. I can set this for just a circle that covers 32 uh, inches at 100 yards. It's a 32 MOA uh, circle. You can also set this on just a, a dot which covers two inches at 100 yards. Or you can set it to where you have the circle with the dot. Mostly I'm going to shoot it with just a circle because at various yards, man, I can put that circle right here on on center mass and most likely most of my pellets are going to stay right in that circle so kind of like that feature let me uh, show you guys the ammo we're going to put through this today and then we're just we're going to set up some targets and do some shooting all right some of the ammo i'm going to shoot today i've got some light target loads seven and a half uh, low brass i have some heavy five shot high brass I've got one ounce slugs, double a buckshot, all of these are two and three quarter inch. I do have uh, 
some three inch this is one buck 24 pellets and that ought to be a lot of fun to shoot all right All right, the very first thing I want to do is show you guys how to load nine rounds into this shotgun. Again, the magazine tube holds seven rounds. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make sure I have the safety on. Now, I'm only going to fire three rounds just to show this, but I'm going to take my first round and just put one round in the magazine. I'm going to take a second round and drop it in the chamber. I'm going to take my third round and I'm going to put it right on top of the lifter and then I'm going to close the bolt there so I have one round in the magazine tube one on the lifter and one in the chamber so let's see what happens yeah pretty cool huh also might add this little green dot, it has shake awake technology, and that means if I lay this down, in 10 minutes it's automatically gonna turn off. And as soon as I grab it again, bam, it turns on. So that's a, a pretty neat feature on this uh, little green dot. All right, let's shoot something else. Oh, I do have uh, earplugs in, by the way. Right now I want to shoot a couple rounds of this uh, high brass 5 shot. I haven't shot any of this yet, so just want to see how it's going to cycle. Yeah. You know, I read a lot of reviews where guy said hey this gun doesn't kick that much well let me tell you something this this shotgun weighs six and a half pounds I've been shooting shotguns for about 50 years and I can tell you this does have a little bit of recoil to it nothing I can't handle but especially when we get into slugs and some heavy uh, three inch uh, buckshot yeah it's gonna have a little kick to it but hey that is what makes it fun right I've got a target set up at about 16 yards. I'm going to shoot it with a uh, double out buckshot and then we'll go down and see how many pellets we have on target. There are nine pellets in here, so let's see what happens. Oh, that looks pretty good. Hey, pretty good pattern there at uh, 16 yards. Check out what we just found. Oh, oh she's purdy. She's real purdy. Oh, what are you gonna do, son? You got a shotgun. I do, you know. Shelby. <laughs> Shelby, huh? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, she's, I don't know, is she prettier now or uglier? 
I don't know. I'm going to take a shot. All right. <laughs> Wait, keep that camera going. Ah, you son of a... Uh, Wait, keep that camera going. <laughs> One more round. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh, check out that can. <laughs> that was a slug. Got, Got him. him. Hey, you know, so far reliability has just been 100%. But I want to change things up a little bit right now. I've got eight rounds in here, and I just kind of mixed up all those shells. So I have two bird shot, uh, two buck shot, two slugs, and two three inch shells in here. I haven't shot any of those three inch shells, so I'm kind of curious to see if they're going to feed okay. So I'm going to fire these eight rounds up here on the hillside and we'll see what happens. Oh yeah, nice and warm. I'll tell you what, 100% reliable. Just, just an awesome shotgun. Five gallons of water versus one slug. Let's see what happens. Woo! You know, guys, I had a blast shooting this over the last couple days. My, my son really enjoyed shooting it. You know, if you watch a lot of my videos, you know I love shotguns, especially pump shotguns, but I've always wanted a top-of-the-line tactical semi-auto 12-gauge. Now, I did look at the Benelli M4, but I went with the Beretta, and I'm glad I did. Now, I've never shot the M4, so I can't compare it to this, but I will tell you, I do love this shotgun, and I love the, uh, the little optic on it. Anyways, guys, I want to thank you for watching my video. Hit that like button and subscribe. And, uh, oh, wait. I, I did find an eyeball. <laughs> hey, guys, thanks for watching. <laughs> and we'll see you next time. Yeah.